Now it is one, two, one, two. Okay, it will be 10 minutes. Don't worry. You will survive. We will all survive this. We will make it. Okay, if I say, please let me. Please. Let me. Mm. Please let me. What do you need? Infinitive, ing, two, infinitive with two, infinitive without two. Let me do, let me doing, let me to do. Okay, we have three options, guys. Always three options. Infinitive without two. Let me do it. Infinitive with two. Let me to do it. Or gerund, ing, let me doing it. What is the right answer with let me? Let me do. Let me do. Yeah? So infinitive with or without two? Without two. So let me do or any other verb. Let me explain. Yeah? Please, let me explain. Let me explain. Let me do it. Let me whatever. So what is the lesson that I'm teaching you here? Here you have object. Yeah? Object plus infinitive without two. Yeah? Object plus infinitive. Not to, yeah, without to. So, what is the object here? What is the verb? The, okay, first the verb. With the verb let, then you have an object, yeah. The verb is let, then you have an object, and then what is this? Infinitive without to, yeah, infinitive without to. So, remember with the verb to let, let somebody do something here the object is me but it could be let sarah yeah let sarah let jordan or let uh, them yeah could be any object not just me yeah the object this one the object could be any other i want you to remember let object infinitive without two so far, so good. Okay, have a look at this sentence. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, these are infinitives without two, okay, that I'm explaining to you. Have a look at this. She helped me. I said this like one minute ago. She helped me. Mm -mm, my presentation. She helped me. Mm -mm, my presentation. She helped me prepare to prepare or preparing. Alba. She helped me to prepare my presentation. And the other possibility. Full sentence, Alba. She helped me prepare. Oops, sorry. Prepare my presentation. What is the lesson here? With the verb to help, you have the verb to help, then you have the object, and then you can have both. Infinitive with two or infinitive without two. The verb to help is very generous. Yeah, it allows you to use infinitive with two or infinitive without two. Both of them are all right. Yes. <laughs> For the moment, just remember help. I don't want to overload your head with more information because I'm going to give you a lot of information today. But yeah, in English, there, there are always more. For the moment, remember this one, yeah? Don't overload yourself with info. Okay, have a look at this. <sighs> okay. My mom made us clean the house. That is active, yeah? My mom made me, okay, my mom made me clean the house. Make it passive. I was made. I was made in the house. I, would, may, I was made clean to clean or cleaning? I was made 
to clean the house. Remember, with the passive, yeah? This is a passive. This is passive. Yeah? I was made to clean the house. After a passive, normally you need to plus infinitive. Okay? I was made to clean the house. What is the active? The active is my mom made me clean the house without two. Yeah? My mom made me. Let me give you the active. My mom made me made me clean the house so this is active this is active and this is passive yeah with the active you have only clean without two and with the passive here to clean two plus infinitive yeah be careful with the passive yeah with the passive you need two so far so good Be careful with the passive. Okay, next. Have a look at this. Yeah, infinitives. Yeah, with with two. With two. Oof, we have a lot of verbs, but let me show you some of them. They asked her <clears throat> by plane. Okay, let's take the verb travel. They ask her travel, to travel, or traveling. We have three options. With the verb to travel, travel. I'll give you this verb. Travel. So, two options. Travel, to travel, or traveling. Infinitive with to, infinitive without to, or gerund. What is the best option? To travel, infinitive with to. Okay, I'm going to change the verb. Instead of asked, I'm going to say uh, advised. They advised her travel, to travel or traveling. I'm going to give you another one. Beg. Beg in the past. Begged. They begged her travel, to travel or traveling. Another one, encouraged. Encouraged her. Travel to travel or traveling? Another one, expected. They expected her. Travel to travel or traveling? I'll give you some more. I'll give you some more verbs. Yeah, these are verbs, okay? More possibilities, yeah? More possibilities of verbs. Uh, taught. Taught. Told. They told her, okay? They told her. Travel to travel or traveling? Okay. Forced. They forced her. They helped her. They invited her. They persuaded her. I'm going to give you some more verbs over here. They uh, reminded. They reminded her. They warned. They warned her. They... And one more. Ah, no more. They asked her <clears throat> by plane. They advised her. They begged her. They told her. They forced her. All these verbs have something in common. They require... What do they require? Infinitive with two, infinitive without two, or gerund? With two. They ask her to travel by plane. They advise her to travel by plane. They begged her to travel by plane. They encourage her to travel by plane. So all these verbs have something in common. All these verbs require Infinitive with two. Infinitive with two. So what is the uh, grammatical formula here? The formula is we have verb, a lot of verbs. We have object, and then we have two plus infinitive. This is the formula, guys. 
verb, object, two plus infinitive. And remember, the object can be any other thing. It could be her, it could be him, it could be Jason, it could be us. There are many possibilities for objects, all right? Not only ha. Remember, all these verbs require infinitive with two. So far, so good? May I continue? Uh, if you want all the list of verbs, it's on page 224. Yeah, if you go to page 224, you will have the complete list of verbs that require infinitive with two. Okay? Infinitive with two. Don't look it up now, but yeah, there may be more verbs. Yeah? So don't worry. You have them in the book. All right? For you, it's page 152, 152, yeah? Okay, don't worry, let me continue. Okay, have a look at this. They, oh, they allow, okay, again, I'm gonna give you a set of verbs. Allow, advise, advise, encourage, Allow, advise, encourage, recommend. They allow, advise, encourage, recommend. Mm -mm. By plane. There is no object here, okay? Here we just have the verb, and then here infinitive with two, without two, or ing. There is no object this time. This is a generic, yeah? This is a generic statement, not particular for an object. Generic. So they allow mm -mm by plane. They advise mm -mm by plane. Again, with this verb. They encourage mm -mm by plane. They recommend mm -mm by plane. Infinitive with two, without two, or gerund? Gerund. Very good. So when it's something general and there is no object, here you need the gerund. Traveling. Traveling. I-N-G. Traveling. Yeah? Traveling. Double L. For British people, traveling. They allow traveling by plane. Double L for British people. These are two L's. They allow traveling. So, what is the formula? Verb plus gerund. And remember, these verbs allow, advise, encourage, recommend for general statements with no object, gerund. So far so good? Yeah, okay. There is another, another grammatical structure. Let's see if it sounds familiar to you, which is, hmm, oof, this is difficult. I'm, or I have a range, okay, let's say, I'm arranging, I'm, and then I'm, I'll give you some verbs. I'm or I have, I don't mind. I'm or I have or I. For example, I'm arranging, I'm waiting, I'm asking. I have uh, planned, I have planned, double N, I have planned, I have waited, you can also say, yeah, I have waited, I have waited, or I wait, you can also say I plan, yeah, I plan, I wait, yeah, you can have all these combinations, yeah, you can also say I've asked, yeah, yeah, I've asked, but then, here comes the different thing, yeah? Arranging, waiting, asking, plan, yeah, planning. You can also say planning. Arranging, waiting, asking, planning, yeah? Planned, asked, waited, plan, wait. These verbs in particular, yeah? Hmm. And then have a look at this particular grammatical structure. For ha.
I'm gonna finish the sentence here. Me. For her, mm -mm, me. I'm waiting for her, mm -mm, me. Okay. For example, with the verb call. With the verb call. Call. To call, call or calling. Infinitive with two, without two, or ing? With two. Yeah, with two. So here you go for infinitive with two. I'm waiting for her to call me. I'm waiting for her to call me. I'm asking for her to call me. I'm arranging for her to call me. I have planned for her to call me. I wait. Any possibilities? Okay, yeah. I wait for her to call me. Yeah. Every possibility is okay. So what is the grammar here? The grammar is here you have a verb. This is the verb. And then you have something special here for an object. This is the special part. You have for and you have the object. The object could be any other person. For her, for him, for John, for us, for them. Yeah, many possibilities for the object. And then two plus infinitive. Infinitive with two. And then one more thing, yeah, here, me, to call me. You can have an extra object. So remember, verb for object, infinitive with two. I repeat, verb for object, infinitive with two. Yeah, I'm waiting for somebody to do something. Do you understand this particular grammatical? Have you seen it before, uh, Marina? Is it the first time you see it? Yeah, first time you see it, Gabriela? You've seen it before? So far, so good? Remember, yeah? Verb for somebody to do something. Okay, I'm about to finish. Just one more thing. Just one more thing. Have a look at this. I warn you. Guys, I warn you. I warn my students. Their homework. I want my students <clears throat> their homework. What is the verb with homework? Do. So three possibilities. Do, to do, or doing. Infinitive with to, without to, or gerund? With to? Full sentence, Marina? To do. So what is the, the uh, structure? Want somebody to do something. Want somebody to do something, but not only want, okay? It could be, uh, I love, I love, or I'd like, yeah? I love, I'd like. You can also have here the uh, would, the conditional. I, I love, I'd like. You can say, I would prefer, yeah? Prefer. You could say, hate. But no, I wouldn't say hate. But yeah, grammatically correct. Yeah, I hate my students to do well. Oh, hate, I think hate sounds better with ing. I hate my students not doing their homework. Yeah. So remember, want somebody to do something, love somebody to do something, like somebody to do something. So what do we have here? We have the verb. After the verb, my students. What is my students? Object, and then after the object, two plus infinitive, infinitive with two, two plus infinitive. And I think this is the end of the grammatical explanation. No, I have one more thing. One more thing. Have a look at this. She. Oh. She. And then a bunch of verbs that I'm going to give you. Dislikes. Dislikes. Hates. Dislikes. Hates. Imagines. Imagines. 
people. She hates people. Mm -mm -mm. Ha. I'm going to give you the verb. The verb is control. Control. So with the verb to control, again, three possibilities. Control, to control, or controlling. Infinitive with two, without two, or ing, gerund. ING, full sentence, Gabriela. Controlling ha. She hates people. Controlling ha. So, what is the formula here? Verb after the verb. People, what is people? Object. And after the object, what do we have here? Gerund. Gerund because it is ing, yeah? Gerund because it is ing. The object could be any other thing. She hates people. She hates, I don't know, uh, teachers. She hates teachers controlling her or any other person. She hates John, yeah? She hates John controlling her. But not only dislikes, hates, or imagines. There are many other verbs. You could say <sighs> minds, more verbs. She minds, she prevents, she remembers, yeah? Remembers, uh, risks, risks, more verbs. She keeps, she keeps, she dislikes, I already have it, imagines, in, involves. Maybe these ones don't work very well with this sentence, yeah? Involves, keeps, keeps, did I say keeps? Yeah, keeps, prevents. Prevents, remembers, risks, stops, stops. So remember all these verbs, complete list on page 224. But all these verbs, yeah, this likes, hates, imagines, minds, remembers, risks, involves, stops, keeps, prevents, object, and gerund, yeah? Imagine somebody doing something. Hate somebody doing something. Remember somebody doing something. Stop somebody doing something. ING. And now, yeah, this is the end of the grammatical explanation. So far, so good. What time is it? Quarter to six. We still have like 40 minutes or so. After the theory, 